Hi everyone, let's go through my preferred Elliott Wave scenarios on the medium time frame and the micro, including potential trading setups. Starting with the more bearish scenario where we are looking for an ABC zigzag, which is a 5-3-5 five, wave move to the downside. And then if we look inside this wave B, which consists of a WXY pattern, I have an area of interest over here, which is the target box sitting between 30.2k and 30.4k, which is still untouched and also includes the one to one over here for a target for wave Y taken from the low of A to the high of W to then the lowest low made in this X, which is this low over here. So there's an interesting area of confluence between 30.2k and 30.4k for then potentially a short setup over here. Now, of course, there's no financial advice. This is purely based on this particular scenario being an ABC zigzag with a clear invalidation at 31k, where if price is going to move to the upside, of course, a short can be entered then. Stop loss at the invalidation looking for a move to the downside however if we add maybe a little bit of an additional tool a more safer option would be in my opinion to wait for a little bit of price action in this area and see what's going to happen because if it is just going to push to the upside and you enter that short because hey we got some confluence then you're going to be stopped out in two seconds so of course you need your own plan your own strategy your own entry requirement you are your own trader and you have your own responsibility in entering trades but a more safer option in my opinion no financial advice is to wait and see what price is going to do move to the upside maybe a little bit of downside then a retracement over here creating a lower high but maybe then on the cvd we create some bearish divergence so, so a lower high on price but then a higher high on the cvd and then this could be a potential entry for that short scenario to the downside so this is definitely currently as it stands an interesting target or an yeah well it is an interesting target over here and an interesting scenario to the downside where if we do look to the downside the target box over here the yellow one for me is a very interesting area of confluence which sits between 24850 and 24.3k if we then look at the more bullish scenario where more upside is expected this is definitely an alternative scenario by the way as it stands for two reasons but i'll explain that the first reason is this then has to be a three-way structure in an a three-way structure looking there for a three-way structure in this wave b for an expanding flat and then eventually a wave c impulsively to the downside so first of all you have to try and count a three-way structure in here now it is possible of course to look for a three-way structure however this is second leg in this or actually the third leg in this three wave structure is very very extended going past the well even the rare targets of this then being an ABC like a zigzag structure so it's not preferred and also if this is an A like a five wave move in a wave A three wave correction in a wave B and then you want to look for a wave C usually a wave C is an impulsive structure going to the upside like parabolic I would say you know something like you see over here vertical to the upside but as you can see it is just simply ranging slowly to the upside which is not really something you like to see in a wave C especially if the target is all the way up here at about 32.4k because the confluence here is quite interesting we have to, uh, the highs of the 2022 range at 32.4k for maybe a little bit of a liquidity grab maybe a swing failure pattern price wicking above closing below the 2022 range highs that would then be potentially the entry for a move to the downside again no financial advice, but that could be an interesting target, an interesting plan as well for this particular area of interest, which is between 32K and 32.7K. That is the area of interest for a potential wave B in an expanding flat. But then again, this counting as a three wave structure, not too nice. And this being a wave C at the moment does not look that great so far. However, if price is going to take the high at 31K, then the next area of interest for me is going to be this area over here where again you have to wait and see or at least no financial advice but you got to wait and see how price then uh, is going to interact with this area because if it is just going to push up then of course this makes no sense wait and see what price is going to do in this area for then maybe potentially this short scenario over here and if we then go to the more local and lower time frames this is actually quite complex and currently what i have in mind is potentially a wxyxz now that's not really something you like to see in a bigger wxy like over here a w x and then y with inside this y such a complex structure that is very uncommon if not even you know, i don't think it's even officially possible from an elliott wave point of view 
But counting this structure, yeah, you could maybe do a W, X, Y, or in this case, then what I have on the chart. But it all results basically to finding a little bit more upside. Also, because we have the bullish divergences, CVD divergences between this low over here and the higher low that is made. But on the CVD, we have lower lows. And the target for the divergence is at uh, the high over here, which sits at about 30K. So a little bit more upside would actually be preferred. Um, and currently counting this as a potential W, X, Y, X, Z, where inside this wave Z, we then expect also a three wave structure. And the most common target area for wave Z is between the one and the 1.236 over here, which is between 29.8K and 30K. And the rare target, the 1.618 is sitting at 30.5K. And it also then includes the blue target box. There we go. So that could be quite an interesting area of interest again for a potential reversal over here to the downside. Now, a couple of scenarios that I have seen online as well, which is the diagonal and a potential one, two, one, two. Now, a diagonal is then a structure like this, right, where you have two trend lines that are converging, basically. However, this scenario and then a one, two, three, four, and then eventually looking for a fifth wave to the upside um, is invalidated mainly because of this structure over here, because in a diagonal, the wave two and the wave four have to be zigzag structures, which is a five, three, five wave structure. And over here, it makes more sense to count this as a flat structure because this is a five wave move on the lower time frames. Like it looks to be an impulsive structure, this one over here. And yeah, if this is an impulsive structure, but then eventually price moves to the upside and takes this high, it invalidates a zigzag because that is a five, three, five wave move. That would be nice to see and then potentially a diagonal, of course, but that is not what we got so because this is a flat scenario or an other type of correction a diagonal is not possible and also a one two one two in my opinion does not make too much sense in this then being a five wave structure over here in a wave one three wave or two over here and then you have another one two three four five in another bigger one for then a corrective two now the reason that in my opinion this is invalidated is if this is a wave one a nice five wave count and this only this structure over here is a wave two it's it doesn't make sense because then again this is an impulsive structure to the downside so you want to see a three wave structure in this uh, wave two then for then more upside but that's not what we got because price just moved to the upside and took this high so yeah for me the most uh, likely scenario at the moment is either this being a like w x y x z which is quite rare in general or some sort of a w x y but at least some form of a complex structure and not an impulsive structure. So therefore also, if we look at the medium time frame scenario, my more preferred scenario is this one over here also because of what we are seeing. This is not looking too impulsive just yet. At the moment, of course, if price is gonna be very impulsive, this short setup, of course, is going to be completely invalidated. Um, but if price is just going to range itself to the upside like it does now, which looks to be more of a corrective structure to the upside, then this is still going to be my preferred scenario. Also, I will only do this once, but I'm actually very, very proud to announce that I'm now an official partner of Maxi Global with a lot of different benefits for the community as well. Check them out in my Discord channel. You can find it all there or in the description. I put some links as well, but there's a bigger like explanation in my Discord channel over here, either at the community benefits where you can read a bit more or at the Kunz update channel. So that being said, thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful or valuable to you. Please check out the macro and the high time frame video if you're interested. And for now, thanks for watching and subscribing and I will see you at the next one. Bye bye.